Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is the iBalm Women Over 60 Swear By. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. So we're gonna go into a beautiful makeup tutorial today. I am back in the Tom Ford arena. Yes, I'm torturing myself by buying another palette of his because they're expensive, but I wanted to buy this rose palette. It is number 30 and it is beautiful. Now I haven't even touched it. Everything's in its package. Let me take this off so it's not glaring for you. Look how beautiful. <gasps> So pretty. Granted, it's four colors. I only use three, but we're going to go into this sparkly rose champagne color in honor of my French bulldog named Rose Champagne. So we're going to use all four colors and see what they look like. But I'm really excited to share with you this eye balm that I was reading when I was researching. It said women over 60 swear by this eye balm. It's been on my list, but I kind of forgot about it. And then I revisited this website and I decided to buy it. So we're gonna use that in our skincare routine because it's basically like skincare and makeup. So the creator is called Kira Weiss and it is in this little pot, 0.5 full ounces. I'm going to give you what they say about this product. This is an eye balm. I'm all about balms. You know that. I love the Elemis cleansing balms, the rose balm, the regular balm. I love balms. So this is the eye balm. And I'm really excited. So when I first started using it, I was like, what is the big deal? I'm like, mm, doesn't really feel like a balm per se. Then I consistently kept using it and was like, I really enjoy this feeling of silkiness. It's not like a balm where you feel like, you know, I've told you before, I'm very picky when it comes to eye creams because if it sits on my skin, if it slips all around and it doesn't absorb, how am I supposed to put on my concealer or do my makeup? So when I was using this balm, the first initial reaction thought was, doesn't really feel like a balm. Like, is this really a balm? But then I was like, of course it needs to be a specific formulation for the eye area to be not only light enough absorb, but also really smooth out the skin, prep it, prep this eye area, very delicate, you know, we're very dehydrated, but not be too much, not overwhelm the skin. So I was thrilled as I continue to use it. So that's why when you first use a product, don't jump to conclusions and say, oh, you know, it doesn't work for me. You can say that with anything. I've said that so many times and then I keep using it. I'm like, oh wait, I actually really like this now. It's so crazy how that happens. So with this product, this is what it says about this product, which I think you're going to really love if you struggle with dryness around the eye area. If you even are over 40, 50, 60, this one article I read was about 60 year olds, but I do feel that this would apply to everyone because this eye area we always are wanting to smooth it out really prep it for our concealers so it's a unique formulation it acts as an eye treatment a makeup primer and you can use residual over for a lip balm it is mostly credited for its anti-aging transformations around the delicate eye area it minimizes fine lines and wrinkles while lifting and firming sagging skin with every swipe it also sets the stage for smoother concealer applications and even hydrates and nourishes lines on the lips so it is ophthalmologist tested. It's organic. It's clean beauty. And this is their signature product. It helps brighten dark circles, beeswax for softening dry patches, and a blend of rosehip seed oil, almond oil, and sunflower seed oil that bring vitamins, antioxidants, and fatty acids to the skin. Last but not least, hyaluronic acid gives tired eyes new life by plumping and hydrating away dullness. I think, ladies, anyone that has any of those issues can use this. So first I was just putting a little on now, but let me just prep my skin. You know what, I'm actually gonna do something different. I'm gonna be using my Shiseido cotton, of course, because you know this is like my favorite thing to use now. I feel so luxurious like using this cotton compared to the scratchy scratch cotton that I was using before. I'm using Vino Pure. This is a really nice toner if you have more oily skin or maybe those times where you kind of are breaking out or showing more oil, especially during the summer. This is a purifying toner with natural salicylic acid, organic essential oils, grape water. You know that I really love my French quarterly line. It's very beautiful. I usually do like my T-zone area. I sometimes will spend a little bit more time because this cotton feels so good on my skin. I know it sounds silly, but I mean, literally, 
I really upgraded when I <laughs> moved to a soft cotton. I really enjoy it on my face. So I did that. Then let's go in with our brightening serum. We're gonna brighten everything today. This is Quarterly Vino Perfect Brightening Serum. I forget how many they say. They, something about like one cells every 15 seconds or something. It's our like main product. It is beautiful, smells so nice. Lightweight, hydrating, soaking into the skin, ladies. This is what you want. You want to hydrate that skin. Again, remember, I've always said to you, I'm like a broken record, your skin, your makeup is never going to look gorgeous if you do not start feeding it, taking care of it, exfoliating it, cleansing it, never too late. I don't care if you are 150 and you decided to just now start treating your skin and washing it and putting a serum on, you will see dramatic difference. So I have the serum on my skin now let's apply this balm. Like I had said before, I wasn't quite sure because it wasn't your typical balmy, like it wasn't shiny and you know, I was like, oh, this is a little bit different. So I press my finger into the product like this. I pick up a little bit on it and then I start working it into my eye area. And this is great if you're not wearing any makeup at all and you really wanna have, you know, that beautiful skin, you put on your SPF, you put this around your eye area, you can just, I'm gonna just put it around like this area here. Feels so silky smooth, hydration, and then whatever's left, I'm going to put it on my lip area. So it does say it softens the lines around the lip because you're basically hydrating the lip. I think that that's a great way to not lose product this product is $62. Again, you are going to have it for a long time because ladies, look, it's a solid treatment. You use it, you're not going to be using tons. So this is going to be really nice. And I like the fact that it's not slippery. So when you put it around your lip area, I'm putting it around, not on my lips because I want it to hydrate any of those lines. So that'll help with some of the lines that are starting to be created there. Going in with my eye primer, first step I always do prior to putting on my eyeshadow, you can see instantly that this eye primer is going to dramatically change the color of my lids. So I want that neutralization. I want it to be nice and lighten because I'm never going to see the beautiful eyeshadow colors if I'm mixing it in with this dullness, this darkness on my eye area. So I go into the inner corner here. It's okay if you don't work everything perfectly in. This is a work in progress. I'm doing like my beautiful canvas. You know, when I paint, I everything's not perfect. I go back, I'll maybe, you know, smudge a little bit here or I'll perfect a line there. So that's the same thing with your face. So nothing has to be perfect. And I think that that's what's really nice about doing your makeup, trying new things, just have fun with it and don't try to be perfect every time. I actually think it's nice to be sloppy and messy sometimes and be like, you know, it's just one of those days. Oh, well, I did my makeup like this and you know, so be it. Like you gotta just roll with it, ladies, right? You just have to have fun. I want you to have fun with makeup. This is why I do this. I think it's so much fun being able to find new products that really make us feel good. We see a difference. These are products I bring to you that you will see a difference in. This is not fluff. I bought this myself. There's no affiliate link, or maybe there could be an affiliate. I haven't even checked, but everything's always listed if it is. So we have a beautiful prepped eye. Let's go into our Tom Ford. Now, the last time I, I used his palette, I had a lot of fallout. So of course I have my all my pads right here in case I need to really do a cleanup action. Now that's another thing. I have this beautiful eye balm on There better not be fallout because I don't want to have to sweep anything off and take off the eye balm because <laughs> I'll have to reapply the eye balm. Now knowing that we could have some extra fallout, let me go in and do it nicely. Like let's not get crazy. So I'm going to go in with the first color, this beautiful rosy mauve color here. I'm going to just press with my eyeshadow brush into the palette and try not to get too much fallout. What I'm gonna do is I'll sweep over any fallout, I'll pick it up. So hopefully it will not come off <laughs> all over the place. So let's see, I hope this is going to be a pretty color on my eyes, just really pretty, different, maybe a little bit too rosy, but you know what, we're gonna go with it. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll take my lighter color, sweep it down, because you know how that's how I get away with Something might be too bright. I'll take the next color and I'll just wash it down and it gives me this beautiful kind of like washed look. All right, not too much fallout. I'm intentionally placing it knowing that Tom loves to give you that extra like fluffy shadow everywhere. I felt like the last time I applied this, it expanded. 
I don't feel that way right now. I'm going to go in with the lightest color, switch over my brush, and I'm going to take it down. I'm going, this is really the brow bone color, and then I'll just wash it down. Think of it as like a watercolor. I'm just gonna take that down a notch so it's not as rosy. I'm cooler, so I don't know if I could really get away with that being so much of that mauve rose, but now I can. I just neutralized it a little bit. I love it. I like it. That's like my new thing. So now I'm going to go in with the purple color, this beautiful deep lavender. And let me see if I have a clean brush right at my disposal. If not, oh, I do. Clean brush. So we're going to go in with a tapered brush into this deeper color. I'm just rolling it very gently because I know I don't want to get too much going on here so let's go right to the base i don't want to go too much again this might be more of like a summer evening look maybe doing cocktails you know i just did that video where i gave you a little coastal grandmother vibe you know aspirational life adding things into your life that elevate your life whether it's buying yourself flowers whether it's buying a beautiful chardonnay or sauvignon blanc taking that time for yourself and really, you know, maybe it's cooking, maybe it's making a dish you've never made before. Maybe it's buying a new cookbook. All of these things, ladies, you can incorporate a beautiful life and not have to really, you know, be on the coast or what have you. All of those things that you feel like are required or not required. This is looking beautiful. I'm really liking this color. And I'm really working it very gently on the sides. I'm like tiptoeing around with this shadow because last time I really went for it and it was like expanding and getting crazy. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can't control this shadow. It looked gorgeous by the time I finished, but it was like, it was a little bit of a struggle. Finding now that I know how to work with these shadows, second time around, I'm actually quite happy that I bought this palette. I'm gonna take a mauve eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes. You know how I love to go right to the base here and just work it into my lash line. So this is going to be really beautiful. You can do whatever you want. You can line the full line if you want to. I like to taper it down, but during the summer, I just like to do maybe like three quarters. I'll go right here and then I'll come out to the end. I don't do anything underneath because I wanna keep it just to be light, even though this would be more like of a cocktail-y evening look. So I have the mauve liner on. I think that mauve is a really beautiful color to pick with this eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna just take the smudge brush or it's actually the tapered contour brush and I'll just go across to just kind of smoke it up and have it really look just nice and soft. Smudge it up, very beautiful. I'm gonna see if we have any fallout. I'm gonna take one of my All May pads and see if I have any fallout that I did last time, tiny, tiny up at the top there. No, not like I did last time. I'm trying to avoid my little eye balm, but keeping it nice and crisp at that very end because you know that my eyes come down a little bit. There's like a fold. So I want to make sure that I always keep everything up and not come like looking like I'm pulling my eyes down. Going right into mascara. I'm gonna to go to the base of my lashes. It's basically called front loading. I have my little wand here that has these tiny little teeth that grab your lashes and pull them up and don't clump up the lashes, which is really nice. So I go to the base, I wiggle back and forth and I come straight up. I didn't curl my lashes like I normally do with my Shuamora because I'm going to be going in with my heated eyelash curler. So this is something that, you know, I told you I was going to be showing you more in my makeup tutorials because it is going to save your lashes if you have delicate lashes, if they're thin, if they can't take that crimping, that pressure with the mechanical eyelash curler, you can use a heated eyelash curler. Now, one caveat with a heated eyelash curler is it's not going to be a fast movement. So if you're impatient or if you're in a rush always, it's probably not the best thing for you. You have to take your time molding the lashes because that's what's gonna keep them up all day long. You're putting heat to your lashes. I do it after I apply my mascara. You can do it prior also, but I find that it's almost like hairspray. So I'm able to go and really curl the lash. Now, for my last tutorial, you want to wait until the lashes dry a little bit because if not, you're going to be bending them back and it's going to get the mascara on your actual lid and then you got to clean up a little bit so you could wait just a little bit until they are semi-dry and then you will be putting on your heated eyelash curler i like to go to that's low when you see the green light yellow is medium and then you can do red which is high 
just depends on what you want to do when it comes to the heat. I always test it first when I have it on for about a minute and just to see where we are with the heat, you always wanna test that before you put something to your eye, but just making sure. So while that goes and heats up, let's do a little brow. You know what, let's just take a brow fix and just comb it up. This is in cocoa. I'm just gonna comb up my brows and gloss them up a little bit with this cocoa color. Just grooms them. You can use clear, you can use blonde, you can use cocoa, you can use brunette or dark brunette, depending on. It just gives that a little extra to the brows. So now our heated eyelash curler should be nice and heated up. So we're going to go to the base of the lash and I'm going to pull it back and curve this wand. It's kind of like I'm rolling the barrel in my hand. So you're going to the base and then you roll up. So you're wanting to mold the lash, the base of the lash. You're not touching your actual lid, the mucosal line. You don't want to get heat on there. You just want to go to the base and allow it to have enough heat so it starts to curl the lash. I find that my lashes will last all day when I use the heated eyelash curler on the mascara, just like this. And it depends on how my lashes are responding that day. Are they easy? Do they, can, they can do a couple of different swipes or does it take a little bit longer to work the heated eyelash curler on my lashes? Just depends. So there my lashes are up. I love how they feel. Like sometimes I can feel them actually on my brow bone because when I like lift them up, I can feel that curl. Let's go into concealer. What should we be using today? Let's go in with maybe a little NARS. Let's go in with a cream I'm using light 2.5. This is their Radiant Creamy Concealer. Let's see how this goes over our beautiful balm. I reviewed this concealer. I think it's really pretty, very smooth, very, very easy to apply. More of a medium coverage, a big difference of putting this on than when I was burning my skin with the, <laughs> with the poor Maybelline. Oh, I gotta try that again. We're gonna do a redo on that, ladies, and see what happens. That video where I was testing out that concealer, it was old. I'm gonna just use my foundation buffing brush. I'm gonna work it in. It's a very easy concealer to work in. Giving you options, I'm always changing up the product that I'm using. One product does not fit all, right? I mean, this Radiant Concealer maybe doesn't work for some of you. That's why we try different drugstores or we try different concealers, but beautiful, feels nice on the skin. I like this concealer, it's very pretty. Use two different ones, use one depending on your coloring, and then we're gonna go right into our foundation. So I use NARS, which is a little bit pricier as a concealer, so let's jump into a foundation that is a drugstore foundation. So I reviewed Wet n Wild before, you all have said how much you love this product. I think it's really great. I bought two different colors, I had soft beige and I had rose ivory. So I think the soft beige, if I remember correctly, just looking at it, it looks like it would benefit my skin color better. So I'm going to go in with this color. I love that it has this little applicator, so easy, right? During summertime too, I mean, granted, this is more of an evening cocktail, I can get away with, you know, maybe not applying as much, but this does nicely cover. Mm, I forgot about that scent it has. It has this beautiful, I know some of you, thought it smelled, I don't remember what you said it smelled like, but you know, the only other foundation that I really feel has a fragrance to it or a scent is Chanel. This is very just floral, pretty. I know that a lot of you don't think it smells like floral, but I do, which I think it smells very, very pretty. So you can see it's just, this is a very effortless concealer and foundation routine. Not a big deal getting that dewy look. I think this foundation is $5.98. You'll find it cheaper on Amazon. I think it was like $2 and some of you found it for really inexpensive, but it's beautiful. Foundation is on, I am not going to powder. I want this beautiful dewy look. Again, I'm gonna just go in with my Palm Beach. I've been really basically married to this beautiful cream blush. It goes so well day to evening. It's creamy, it melts into the skin, really does well over drugstore foundations, over higher end foundations. I mean, it just really brings out that color, that, that really natural flush. It's like more of an apricot kind of color that looks just very pretty on the skin. So hence why I keep using it, depending on, see, I put a little bit more on this side, then this side you can build up if you want to. Again, it will come down. I like to start off the evening with a little bit more color and then as the evening goes on, it will 
go down. Very pretty. Let's go into doing a graceful lip liner. That's what the name of it is. It's called waterproof. Lip liner is on, really giving definition to my lips. Very important when you start seeing your lips. Not having a lot of color, always be putting on a lip liner, ladies. It'll be like the biggest game changer. It's like mascara. Like when you can't see your lips, there's no definition. Put on that lip liner and really feel good <laughs> that you have lips. I love that. I love that little tip. I'm gonna go in with Embrace. I'm just doing a lip gloss. I'm gonna keep it really simple. This is a beautiful, natural looking lip gloss. You can see it just really nicely goes. One step, I don't need a lipstick also. Just really, really pretty. And I'm going to finish off with doing my new, I've told you about this before, Ilio from Diptyque. It's my hair mist, it is not rose. It is this Mediterranean gorgeous Capri live your best Italian life fragrance. So when you put it on, you know what the best is, is when you put this on, oh gosh, it smells so good. And then you put your hair up or say you put it back in a ponytail or you clip it up like I do all the time. Then you let it down and it's like igniting this beautiful scent again. You're like, oh, I forgot that I sprayed that in my hair. It smells so gorgeous. And then of course it is summertime. So let's go in with a little quarterly beauty elixir, hydration, always needing more hydration in the skin a little essential oils to uplift that mood before you go out and mingle. And I think that we are onto something with Tom Ford. If you want to have a special palette for maybe special occasions, it is more pricey, but again, ladies, I show you full range, drugstore, all the way up to whatever I decide that I wanna try and I wanna buy and I wanna review it for you. This is beautiful. So when you at least invest in something, you at least know prior, okay, what about this balm? You might read about it and say, oh, I don't like, like, does it really work or is it really nice? I think that this would be a great investment because it's hitting on so many different things that we deal with. Dehydration, darkness. We want a primer before we put on our concealer. You want to smooth out that eye area. These things that I pick out for you are very intentional. This isn't about like, oh, what else can I show you? I like to keep it very simple. I don't want a lot of stuff here. I want to really just show you what I think is going to enhance your makeup routine, enhance your life, enhance your routine. That is my purpose here on YouTube. And I love when we get a beautiful look, looks simple, looks pretty. It's not a lot. I mean, $5.98 foundation. We are onto something, ladies. We can go high, low, just like all the fashion girls. They can do a high, low style. We can do a high, low with our makeup, right? So until my next video, I'll see you later.